Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about learning how to pray in secret. Uh, we can find this in Matthew 6 verse 6 um, and it says something very interesting about praying and, and praying in secret. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, starting in uh, Matthew 5, um, 6, um, you know, those two verses are very interesting. It, it tells us that, you know, when we pray, don't babble. Don't babble when we pray. Don't, you know, give God prayers of recitation. A lot of people, you pray, you know, the same prayer, you know, um, you know, protect my mom, protect my dad, uh, protect my family, you know, make me successful, uh, make me get, a, you know, help me get a job. You know, a lot of people have generic prayers, prayers that, you know, that are recited day in and day out. And you tell God the exact same thing. Um, honestly, sometimes I'll tell you, it's better to ask God, please teach me how to pray or, or, or give me something to pray about rather than just reciting, uh, um, you know, the same prayer over and over again. Don't babble. Uh, you know, that's what the verses tell us here, that don't babble to God. Don't tell God, you know, the same thing over and over again. Uh, it, it just, God is a person, just the same way where, you know, your, your kid says something to you over and over and over and over again, and you've, you've answered it, it just doesn't make sense after a while. And so, you know, the same way that someone can annoy you by asking you the same thing over and over and over again. It, 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 we have to look at, you know, God is a person. He's listening. And when you're just babbling and babbling and babbling, it, it, it brings about no fruit. So we have to go to God and pour out our hearts to him. A lot of people, when they're seeking God, they don't pour out their hearts. They just give God a recitation and they, they babble and babble and babble and babble. Don't babble. When you go to God, go to God full heartedly. And, and if you want God to really reward you, if you want God to listen to your prayers, if you want God to hearken onto your prayers and, and, and give you his ear, listen to him, um, pray, pray to him and pray in the right way. You see, when David went to God, he prayed with confidence. He prayed as a person who knew that what he was praying about was already answered. And the Bible tells us that before we pray, you know, in Matthew, uh, in Matthew chapter six, it really tells us that God knows what we need not what we want i always tell christians this it's not what what you want god gives you it's what you need because what you want could be a snake what you want could be danger what what you want could be death god does not give you what you want a lot of times people ask god for dark things evil things wicked things and god does not give us what we want he gives us what we need in the time that we need it and so learn how to pray and seek the Bible tells us that we need to go into our rooms, close the door. And it's very specific. Jesus is speaking here. Jesus says, you know, go into your room, close the door. Listen, close the door, lock that door, barricade the door. Find yourself in that secret place. Close the window, close the blinds, close the shades. Find that secret place, that alone place where nobody can see you. And pray to your father who is unseen. And, and God that sees something that is done in secret, that sees you praying in secret he will reward you because the thing is that god calls us um to know him to know him personally and the thing is like a lot of people when they pray they pray loud in church they pray loud on the street corner they pray they make sure there's some people they make sure that other people know how much christian they are there's some people that make sure that people understand how much you know religion that's in them that they're all about religion that they're all about god and yet they have no prayer life they know they know they don't know how to pray in the secret place you see you have to find yourself in your prayer closet in your room close the door find God and pray and seek in a secret way and God says that you know if you want to be rewarded if you want him to hear your prayer if you want him to listen to you don't babble don't say the same thing over and over and over and over and over again but pray in the secret place Pour out your heart, your emotions, your feelings, how your day went. Ask God for guidance in all things, in your relationships, in your jobs, in your daily life, in his calling for you, in his purpose for you. Pour out your entire being. We are living temples. And in this temple, there are no secrets. 
Pour out everything. Confess everything. Release everything because God is your father. God knows every, every hair on your head. He knows every thought in your mind. He searches the mind of men. He searches the hearts of men. He searches the souls of men. He searches man's entire being. Now, God knows you better than you know yourself. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you need. He knows what you want. And he answers you in, in accordance of what's in his will, in accordance to what is good for you. Not what you want, but what is good for you. So we have to learn how to pray in the secret place. When you're praying, you don't have to tell people what you're praying about. Don't tell people what you're praying about. Don't tell people what God is working in your life. Don't tell people what God is doing. Don't tell your family members. Don't tell your friends. Don't tell the people at your church. Don't tell nobody. You have to enter the secret place. This is what the scripture, read it for yourself. Matthew chapter 6, verses 5, 6. It's telling us that don't babble, but go into the secret place. Go into the secret place and find God. Go into the secret place. Go into the secret place and find God. Go into the secret place and seek for God and search for God and, and, and go f find him wholeheartedly. Because if you want God to reward you, if you want God to bless you, if you want God to walk with you, if you want God to fill you with his Holy Spirit, you have to seek him with nothing lacking. And you have to let him know. Because the thing is, like a lot of times, you know, you're working on a project, you're seeking something, you're trying to do something in your life, and you listen to the advice of other people. You listen to these, the advice of other Christians, other people in the world. Now, okay, you uh, you could say, well, of course I can listen to the advice of other Christians. That that might sound good in theory. That might sound good. But the thing is like God's advice is better than a Christian's advice. God's advice is better than your friend's advice. God's advice is better than the advice that comes from the world. Because if you are to make it into the kingdom of heaven, you have to know Christ personally. And how can you know Christ personally if you're never alone with him? You have to find a secret place and speak to the Holy Spirit and speak to God and speak to Christ and speak to God himself in the secret place. Because if you don't know your father, you're not on the narrow road. If you don't know your father personally, you're not on the narrow road because the narrow road is Christ. It's to follow him. It's to speak with him. Think about Nicodemus. Oh my goodness. Oh man, this is a good one right here. Think about Nicodemus. Nicodemus went to Christ and in the secret place, he had a secret conversation conversation by himself with Christ. Nicodemus did not tell anybody in the temple. Nicodemus did not tell any of the other Pharisees what he was doing. This was a private meeting. This is a good one. This is a good one. This was a private meeting. This is a was a private meeting with Nicodemus and Christ. And, and Nicodemus was speaking with Christ one-on-one. -on -one, and he was asking God, well, how do I get into heaven? And Jesus is like, well, Nicodemus, I'll tell you this. If you want to make it into heaven, you have to be born again. And the only way into heaven is to be born again. And that is exactly what Christ told Nicodemus. You see, if you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven, if you want to know the secrets of God, if you want to speak with God, you have to find yourself in that secret place. You have to learn how to pray secret prayers, not public prayers, not prayers that, that the world can know, not prayers that people in the church can know, not going on in the streets. Listen, you have to pray to God wholeheartedly. You have to seek him wholeheartedly. That is the only way that you can and find your reward in Christ. A lot of people don't understand that. If you want God to reward you, you have to find him in the secret place. You have to go in the secret place daily. Search God. Because if you're babbling, if you're not pouring out your heart, if you're not searching him in, in, in private, if you're not closing the door, if you're not closing the shades, if you're not closing the blind, if you're not seeking him, you're just you're just praying publicly. And publicly, it doesn't bring about nothing. I'm not saying you can't pray publicly for people. That's not what I'm saying here. But you in your secret place. To help other people, you have to first go in the secret place, have that one-on-one -on -one meeting just like Nicodemus had that one-on-one -on -one meeting with Christ and learn the secrets and learn the good news and learn the specifics. Christ 
told Nicodemus the specifics of how to be saved, of what it takes to get into heaven. And you can't, you can't, you can't be on the narrow road if you don't know Christ. You have to, you have to seek Him the same way that Nicodemus seeked Christ. You have to seek Him and have that private conversation because only then, only then, only then, God will work in within your life. Because if you, you. If you want to be rewarded, if you want God's blessing, if you want God to move upon your life, you have to stay in that secret place constantly. Because in that secret place, you are moving in the will, in accordance with the will of God. 